Foxgloves have a noticeable form. The large upright plant, often as tall as a human, and the tubular trumpet bell-like shaped flowers flowering from the bottom up are especially adapted for pollinating. The shape of the individual flower heads of foxgloves is crucial to its specialist design for one particular pollinator, the cardi bee, or to give it its Latin name, Bombus poscicurium. It's a gingery type of bumblebee which you can find in most habitats. So how or why are foxgloves adapted to track to cardi bees in particular? The answer lies mainly in their shape, the tubular bell-like structure of the flowers. If you take a close look at this structure, there are three key features. The position of the stamen in the plant, the large dots on the lower lobe of the petals, and then finally the size of the individual flowers which make up the plant. The stamen. Stamen are part of the reproductive system of plants. They are where you can find the pollen of most plants and play a key role in pollination. When you look at the individual flowers on a foxglove, you will notice that unlike many plants, the stamen are located on the upper side of the plant's petals. The pattern of dots on the lower lobe of each individual plant is another key feature in the foxglove strategy to attract the right pollinators, often described as the plant's landing lights. You will see as you look at the plant, that the unique pattern of purple circles leads up into the main body of the flower on the stamen. These are thought to be in this pattern to aid specific insects to land on the plant and make its way into the flower. Unique patterns, colour and size believed to be adapted to be particularly visible to the bees, such as the cardi bee. The third and final adaptation is the actual shape of the flower itself. The long tubular bell-like structure and its unique size combined with the position of the plant's reproductive organs, including the stamen mean that only key species, such as the previously mentioned cardiby, can pollinate it. Other pollinators, such as hoverflies and many other bee species, are simply the wrong size and shape to effectively pollinate it. Foxgloves are normally seen growing in groups in a number of places, be it from the hedgerows to the Cornish cliff tops and even your own gardens. This enables the bees to pollinate the plants effectively. You will often see them busily making their way industrially between the many flower heads, as they go about finding their food sources.